Hi, Mark Labby here. I'm the Chief Product and Technology Officer for Acoustic Attack, creators of the Attack Picks. And I am here to demonstrate the difference between a standard pick and an attack pick. So I will start on guitar and then I'll move on to bass. Um, on guitar I'm going to start with a regular pick, nothing special, um, and play something really simple so that um, it'll be easier to, to make out the difference. Okay, so now we're going to do it with um, an attack pick, and this attack pick is Ambush, which is one of the is probably the most aggressive pick we've made to date. pretty sure you can hear the difference. So what what really drives how this works and probably can't capture this on camera because the structures are relatively small, but what we have on the tip of the pick are raised structures. Um, in this case, uh, on each side there are five raised kind of triangular structures. And what this does, um, as you might expect, is it creates multiple strikes on the strings as opposed to with a regular pick where um, you're really just getting the strike with the tip of the pick. So in this case, the raised structures are in three rows and essentially what you get are three separate strikes on the strings. This impacts um, your mid-high range, your mid-range. Um, it can create, I think you probably heard it, a percussive uh, effect. Uh, it touches on harmonics measurably. Um, we have, we actually have a Grammy Award winning sound engineer who we use to test all of these picks and basically analyze them down to the spectrum level to see what each one is doing. So, combination of harmonics, percussive, and um, you know, if you look at it in an EQ, from an EQ perspective, with this pick in particular, what you're getting is a lot of mids, high mids, and it even kind of tweaks on the low end and um, so it gives a pretty full sound. One of the things that I find fascinating about this is that on acoustic guitar it's remarkable how much it fills out the sound of the acoustic guitar and that applies to both um, Ambush that I just played and Attack which was the uh, essentially the pick that came from the original design I came up with when uh, I first got into this business. There you have it. Now I'm going to pull out a bass and uh, we'll see what we can do with that. Okay, so on bass things are a little different. Um, yes, the, the picks will still tweak the mids and high mids and in the case of, I think, both attack and ambush, you will get um, an effect on the lows. But the big thing is, and this is kind of a less scientific uh, way to describe it, is you get more of a growl on a bass with these picks. And, and that is, in fact, why I designed these picks to start with. Um, I had been looking for a heavy pick that would work well on bass that would give me kind of an edge to my playing. Um, I already play with my 
strings fairly low, so I mean, I can play really hard and get string buzz for the growl, but that wasn't exactly what I wanted. So, um, you know, it was pretty frustrated. I didn't find anything that was going to work. And uh, that night I designed what I thought would be uh, the ideal bass pick. And um, that night I bought a 3D printer. I had it delivered the next day. Um, and that next day I actually uh, printed my first pick, which uh, was similar to um, our attack pick and and it wasn't perfect but it was it was definitely on the right track so I kept going with that and that's why acoustic attack is here today so on bass uh, again as with guitar I'm gonna play something fairly simple there's no need to go crazy to demonstrate uh, what these do so That is a regular pick. Um, I don't know how many millimeters this is. It's medium thickness, pretty rigid. Now I'm gonna play with um, Ambush again, and probably won't play the exact same line because I've forgotten what I just played, but similar. So it's pretty easy to tell the difference, and I'm hoping the audio on this camera will be clear enough to pick it up. You would think somebody in this business, like myself, would have uh, better audio video equipment, but regrettably, uh, I'm lacking in that area in s certain areas. Um, anyway, the uh, the difference I think you can hear is, uh, you know, I definitely hear the growl in this, um, uh, it has a totally different feel when you're playing it on bass, these picks, and it's very responsive. So I've, I've noticed that on top of the, um, you know, the effect on sound, what I found with these picks is that um, my timing on bass, not on guitar, but my timing on bass has tightened up with these picks. Um, and I think it's because, you know, they do offer a little bit of resistance. You can feel it. And I think that has made me more, I don't know, methodical in my playing. And it's tightened up my playing quite a bit. Attack and Ambush are our production models. We'll be re releasing a um, a new model, probably mid-January, late January, called Blade. And, um, you know, we really hope you'll try them out. They're a lot of fun.